Welcome to our press conference for the 2018 Lucas Oil Challenge Cup. Today's sudden death round one winner, Ish Monroe. Congratulations, Ish. Glad to be here again. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to ask about. You know, you're becoming a familiar face here in our press conference room. You won your elimination round. You're winning it today. What kind of... Um, you know, boost does that give you going into the championship round? Huge, huge confidence level. You know, when you when you pick out the right bait in the first round and you pick out the right bait in the second round, now you've got two major confidence baits going into the third round. You know, it's not that we're going to be on the same lake, but at the same time we're going to be in the same area. And so hopefully one of those two is the right bait at the final round of the championship and I blow this thing out. Yes, you're associated closely with frog fishing. Frog didn't play in your elimination round. Did that change today? No, it did not. Frog did not play again. I actually threw it for a little bit. Uh, things were right for it, but there was not a lot of right cover. I mean, it looks good, and it looks like you would throw a frog in it, but it just didn't have that feel that you normally would. There was a section of the lake that actually did, but it got muddied up by the guys through the run-through, so I didn't even go spend any time in there at all. So speaking of that, if you didn't use the frog, what main baits and patterns did you use today and how did those change throughout the day? Well, I basically started out with the, the swimming worm that I've been catching fish on. I threw a change up a little bit of different top water and none of those were paying off. And then I picked up a vibrating jig with the missile bait shockwave on it and it was immediately game on. First fish I catch on the first cast with a 315, one of the largest fish. And then while guys were catching one pounders, I'm catching three pounders. And so it just kind of separated me from the pack. And so I stuck with that bait and ended up closing it out. Congratulations, Ish. Um, how did this lake compare to your elimination round lake? Um, well, this lake here had a lot more docks and a lot more cypress trees. The place that I had on the elimination round was a lot more laydowns, and it was kind of different. And so it, it, it played a he the two totally different lakes, I would actually say. Ish, you just mentioned on a previous question that you were catching three pounders while other guys were catching one pounders. Do you think that there's a difference in the technique that you're using that's giving you that you know those big catches rather than just kind of one pounding it to the cut weight? Oh yeah, I mean I saw guys, you know, what they were doing and I was doing something completely different and, and when you're catching three pounders, you kind of want to stick to that, especially when you're, it's kind of like taking giant leaps on a sprint while guys are still taking baby steps and so I just kept catching big ones and big ones and big ones and it got me there a whole lot faster than the guys catching one pounders. I mean I think when it's all said and done, I had nine fish that I closed out 22 pounds on while guys had like 13 or 14 fish that they closed out 22 pounds on. Ish, would you have done anything differently today if you had it to do over again? Landed every single fish. Did you lose a lot? Uh, I missed a couple, but it was the way that they were eating the bait. They were super duper aggressive, and some of those fish, I mean, a lot of fish would slack the line, and when they slack the line, it's hard to catch up with them at times, and when you catch up with them, you're trying to bury the hook into them, and it just didn't work, and so I missed a few fish. Honestly, I probably should have been out in the first hour and a half of the morning. How do you feel about sudden death, the format in general? Because there are some guys who don't like it all that much. How does this suit you personally? Um, gosh, every sudden death that I've made, I've actually made the finals from. So obviously, I think it suits me pretty well. I would have liked to stay out there and fish some more, but I'll tell you this is once I got to that cut weight and when I had my lead, my stress level went way down. And going into the second period knowing I needed one fish, you know, basically any keeper fish and I'm in, it was just – it, it feels so much better. Yes, you've mentioned you were catching threes. Other guys weren't. You built a big lead early in the first period. When did you begin to have confidence that you were going to reach that qualifying weight and go out first? After about the first 30 minutes of actually throwing the bait, because in that first 30 minutes, I think I had like six or seven bites and they were all solid ones. And so it's just like when you're getting them bigger average fish and you're getting that many bites while guys aren't getting bites, then you know you've got the right bait, the right technique, and when you've got the right technique and the right pattern, you're just gonna put more fish than everybody else. And that's the name of this game is putting more fish in the boat than everybody else in a, a shorter period of time. Looking at the score tracker, there were a lot of lulls and a lot of flurries of catches today, just like the elimination rounds. Why do you think that is? Um, it's just the way that the fish get. It's it's the sun starts in the morning and you know it's it's low and so the fish are biting and as the sun gets up the fish are repositioning themselves and until they get comfortable they're not going to go on a feeding 
frenzy. And so once they got comfortable again, then they bite again for a little while, and then all of a sudden the sun changes again, and then their shade goes away, and so then they have to reposition themselves, and it waits for them to get comfortable again before they start eating. So it's just the sun, the moon, the stars all have to align to get those flurries going. Yes, on your elimination round, the average bass was about one and a half to two and a half pounds. So what did you think about when you heard the cut weight was 22 pounds today? When I heard the cut weight was 22 pounds, I, I initially thought that we were on a place that had the same size fish. You know, a lot of those one, one and a half pound fish that is just going to have to catch a bunch to do it. And so I started out with that swimming worm to get there, thinking that I was going to catch a lot of those fish. And then all of a sudden I catch one, almost four pounds on a vibrating jig and it's like whoa okay there's some good ones in here and then the next one I catch is two something and the next one I catch after that is three something and then it just continues to go of just good ones biting you it's like it'll be easy yeah. to get to that cut weight. A question that we get a lot from our fans is how do you handle fishing this fall transition like what we're fishing right now um, do you have any advice for them and the things that have made you successful this week? Well, fall transition has to do with bait. You know, the fish are keen in on bait because that's what they're getting ready to do is feed up before the winter time and before they just kind of hunker down. And so you got to fish a lot of different baits, a lot of moving baits, finding out where the bait is on the lake and then put yourself in those areas because most of the time those fish are transitioning from their summer haunts to wherever the bait is to feed up before they go into their winter haunts. Looking ahead to the championship, will you make any changes to your tackle? Um, no, I don't think I'm gonna make any changes. It's just once again, wait till I get there. You know, as you know, I can kind of get in the groove early uh, with the bait, and then maybe have to change up. And once again, I changed up again a bait once I actually got out there on and saw what the lake looked like. So I think I'll leave everything the way it is, and maybe make a change once we get to the lake uh, that morning. So whatever it is, this area obviously suits you pretty well. I mean, you came in here thinking to yourself, yeah, I don't have to fish for smallmouth, I can fish for largemouth. Uh, talk a little bit about just your, your confidence moving forward in the championship round. Uh, confidence is very high. I mean, right now, when you win your first two rounds, it's, it's not a lot of opportunity for a guy to win first and second round and going into the championship uh, with a lot of confidence, definitely. Well, wow. with all that confidence, you know, obviously, some great guys finished after you, but with you passing the cutway, um, Aaron Martins, Andy Montgomery, and Gary Klein, you know, it's a pretty stacked field in the next sudden death round. You know, you got your KVDs, your Hackneys, your Wheelers, your bunch of really Steve good guys. Is, Ed yeah. Weavers, I mean, yeah, literally, I can would... name every guy in that group. They're all great. So whatever four you end up with in the championship are going to be, you know, tough competition. So does that play into your mind at all? Do you think about who you're competing against or do you really just compete for yourself? I'm competing for myself, but I'm hoping that the guys at the next fishing tomorrow hear how fast I went out and kind of throw a little fear into those guys just to, to kind of mess with the head a little bit. Because, I mean, it's one thing to be completely in control, to be completely focused, and one little thing can take you completely out of that that easy by thinking about something else. But for me right now, confidence is high. I'm thinking about catching big tuna, so it's not really bothering me too much, you know, thinking about the guys that I am fishing against. Well, there you go. Enjoy your time off. Doesn't sound like you have much tackle to do, so maybe you can just enjoy a day of rest and good luck in the championship round. Thanks.